If Kevin Durant wins the NBA Finals, does it validate his decision? Yes. Francis Maxwell. Did you already answer? Yeah, <laughs> answer the mid question. Well, this is the family feud. <laughs> we surveyed 100 people, asked them Penis. what their favorite color tie is, and the end. Uh, survey. Multicolor ties. Steel. Steel colored. Burgundy. Burgundy. Lavender. Turquoise. Turquoise. What color is that? It's mixed. It's a la very loud tie. There is no doubt that this tie will take some heat. I wore it once in the main show, and there was a full thread just specifically about the tie. That's the whole like reason a, I do it. What's the name of the guy who draws a little tree? Is it Bob Ross? What? How do you know paints, that? Paints a little tree. <laughs> Bob Ross looks like he you know sneezed, all of, sneezed all over it. Am I supposed to know who this guy that paints little trees? You've never trees seen is? the memes. He's like, come on, you're a meme aficionado. You are the king of the memes. I am. I do like the guy that's constantly like. You're. You like the guy. You. You. You're a meme lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna respond to every question with my favorite. With meme your favorite guy. meme. Yeah. Dan's a fan of the, the Drake clapping. Drake that's a good one. Good I feel point. like the memes were somewhat ruined when they just gave you the ability to choose. Like it was all part of the fun of going and either making your own or choosing one in the interwebs. But when they gave you the ability on your phone now, like as part of Twitter, they can provide you with all the memes based on the, the theme, like happy, sad. Are you serious? You know, I've been cutting out day by day. I've been cutting you astound out. Astound me at how much you. I've been so cutting out memes for no media. reason. I came in. What do you mean? I, I know there's like photo. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Never mind. Never mind. No, I, no, I know. I know. Yeah. So I'm, you're, you're hip. I'm, you're cool. It validates his decision. Yeah, of course it validates his decision. And I love people who go, no, no, it doesn't. He's so weak. He's a snake. He's right. We agree with you there. But here's the thing. <laughs> it, <laughs> it doesn't validate his decision. He wanted to win a ring, and if he wins a ring. Then it validates the decision to move. And the crazy thing is, I think there's people who think that, let's say he wins three or four rings. Time does tend to heal all wounds. This one, I don't think is gonna, he's not gonna get LeBron James. It's not like the people who hated LeBron. And I was not too happy with LeBron when he went to Miami and they put that team together because, as a Knicks fan in 2010, so I was a freshman in college. So, um, very mature version of myself. We own the East Coast. Heavily not drinking too. Camelo. Yeah, I was like, well, he's gonna come. He's gonna make this announcement to the kids of the world. Uh, he did it at the Children's Center. It was, such a, it was a cringeworthy announcement. He said, he goes, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach. And I look at my dad, I was like, that's not New York, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a South, is that the sixth borough? <laughs> but so in this case, like they're gonna keep saying, oh my God, Kevin Durant. He made this weak move. It does validate the decision because all he wants is rings. And at some point or another, I think Kevin Durant just not going to care what anybody thinks. I think it does get under his skin for a decent amount. I think he's never been great with the media. I think we ask him very stupid questions. <laughs> like, don't what, get me you mean, wrong. Like if, if he's really got a vendetta against Rihanna, and that's why he's still about. I don't Wait, that's a great Rihanna. question. Do you know who loves Rihanna? Joel Embiid. <laughs> Oh, he does? Big oh, fan. yeah, he's talked about that before. Big fan. Uh, yeah, John Bede played in a Champions League. He was the El Proceso, the process. <laughs> That's amazing. He, played, he was the goalie. Good for him. The Champions League celebrity he made final. me like him. Yeah, I didn't think I could like him even more. That did. He was, it was uh, him and uh, there was another player with him, and it's just really funny watching seven footers kick yeah. the ball around. It's like when you make it's, a fit character in oh, FIFA. Oh, remember when Don't Know Whiskey? Uh, he does. Kick. Well, he's he, not that he tried good, to right? Do, uh, tried to pre yeah. pretend to be... Uh, Zaza, forgetting the guy's name. He just Italian loves, penalty kick taker was awful. That's right. He loves. Uh, he he has a thing in New York, not New York. Well, he does it with Steve Nash. In Steve different Nash cities. is a big football fan. We know this. He could have played college. Oh, so could have played pro. Um, played pro. All besides the point. So Ke uh, you're not Kevin. You're my Francis. point in Kevin Durant <laughs> is, uh, he, no one is. Uh, there's still people I, out there, I believe, that think that LeBron James is a sellout as well, regardless of the fact that he went back to his hometown team, regardless of the fact that he was so close to winning it. Like the journeys are similar in the way that they came so close, and at times that's even worse than being a mile away from it. Like LeBron James with the, uh, with the Cavs was close to winning, uh, winning a championship somehow with his uh, team in, in the Cavs before he went to the Heat. Everyone said he was a sellout. He got to uh, all those finals, he won two. Regardless, people still, I felt, as I was in the, the States at that time, kind of same time at Ewing College, I was around a bunch of Lakers fans who just hated the idea of that team. And a lot of it's jealousy. A lot of it is the but idea that they what? are going to now go on to control and be the dominant team. Um, and I think the same thing goes along with Kevin Durant at the Golden State Warriors. So close, how they threw away that finals, I'll still uh, not understand um, with a team involving James Harden and Russell Westbrook. 
And then he's made this move that people are still trying to, uh, are not gonna want to comprehend, especially if he goes on and gets a ring with it. It's just, I am just so used to seeing this sort of thing and have become numb to players' aspirations because I always think to myself, what would I do in that situation? What would I want? Like, I, I feel bad for Chris Paul and I would not, in a, any day of the week, hold it against him if he said, you know what, I'm going to the Spurs. Because it's like, you, you, you play, you think about that moment from, for your whole life is you want to win an NBA championship. And well, yeah, Chris you want Paul, to win it in a great way get, by bringing it to a town that believes in you and they love you and they get it together. But he was like, what more could he have done at Oklahoma, do you think, as a general question, to maybe get himself a better chance? He had now an MVP point guard alongside him. I'm and trying to think, because I know like Peter, the Oklahoma City Thunder in the 2016 playoffs were the best team in the playoffs. And then Clay Thompson happens, he hits 11 three-pointers in game six. Um, actually, it was in game five where they were up like seven points with five minutes left or something like that. It was close. And how much would have changed? By the way, I'm, I, I'm not completely sold just because of Kevin Durant's decision in the first place. I am not completely sold that if the Thunder won that game, I any think they one of those games, the Cavs. and they got to the Cavs and they won or lost the finals, I'm not completely sold that Kevin Durant doesn't still go to the Warriors. Mm. Because the reports of, of Draymond Green recruiting Kevin Durant, them being f close friends, Durant, and Durant, uh, who knows who Durant's friends are, and, and, and you know, it's like Kobe and Shaq, man. They could get along when they were on the court and they were pushing each other to be the best versions of themselves and win games. But obviously Kobe and Shaq in their younger years did not like each other. And I think it was somewhat obvious that Russell Westbury and Kevin Durant did not like each other as much as the media and fans wanted Kevin Durant and Russell mm -hmm. Westbrook to like each other. They want, they saw what happened with Wade and James and they're like, look at those best friends, man. I want to, that's the kind of thing that I want to see from my two players, it would be fun. So I'm, I, I still won't be completely sold ever that if the Thunder went on and swept the finals, that Durant still doesn't sign with the Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. Because maybe it keeps him there, he says, and then, by, but then he gets no backlash. Then it's, you're doing what? You're gonna, you're, de you just won, why wouldn't you just stay? It, he wouldn't get the same backlash, it would be different. So? It would be like, no, I wanna go play with my friends because Russell Westbrook is kinda weird. Yeah. I, I think it's lose-lose regardless. I think if he if he doesn't win this year, it's, I, I think that, if he doesn't win this year and he goes and wins in a couple of years, it's still a valid move. He if he doesn't to do win, it. if he doesn't win these finals, man, he is, there will be no equal amount of hate that any player has ever received in the NBA. Maybe not just hate, but just backlash or whatever you want to call it. Like they will, crying memes, crying Jordans, crying Kevin Durant's on top this of crying be, Jordans. This will be everywhere. What? This will be on his face. No, that's the laughing crying one, that's a good one. Yeah, it'll be a laughing There's one. A be There's a difference, there's a major difference. Oh, I, you're, that talking is the, only used, you're talking to the meme. That is only used <laughs> for funny you moments. Just, you just gave me the title, you can't take it away. That's not a meme, that's an emoji. But if you put that There's on his face difference. and you annotate it, it's an emoji meme. It's an emoji. It's an emoji meme. <laughs> it's an emoji. I'm emoji. <laughs> Sounds like a nice fruity drink. Sounds like something you would eat drinking Cabo. I would absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think regardless, he wins, he's gonna get hate, he's gonna be called a sellout, it's gonna be an empty ring. He loses, he's, he's gonna, gonna get hate. Yeah, he loses, he's gonna he get hate. He scores 75, he'll get I hate. I feel like the world would be a better place if we just accepted it by this point, but it's not gonna, no one really is gonna accept it. Sports fans um, like to hold these things as long as possible until someone goes to seven straight NBA finals and it's still <laughs> considered. Oh, there's the, there's the, to be there's the KD is better than LeBron take, which is very interesting because I just want people to play a hypothetical in their minds. Let's just put LeBron in KD's place and put KD on the Cavs. KD is still the prolific scorer he is. Great two-way player and LeBron James is averaging 47 assists per game in the finals. He's going zero points, 32 assists, and 20 uncontested rebounds, according to the internet now. Every rebound that is grabbed is uncontested. That's just the internet. I'm just quoting the internet, that's all. They're undefeated, though. How many uncontested threes has Golden State Warriors had? Made? I think they've had 38 uncontested threes. Not made, but just total 38 uncontested threes. Uh, uncontested, by definition, according to NBA stats, is nobody within six feet. Mm. Nobody within one Jason distance. And how many, how many contested threes does J.R. Smith take? On a daily basis. I mean, come on, you guys saw the, the reset his feet, turn his back to the hoop, and then pull, pull up from 22 feet. <laughs> <laughs> come on.
When he starts <laughs> making those, it's time. I can't okay, wait. It's time.